morning. It's really cold out. It's like negative 20. It feels like negative 20 in our tab. So the plan was to start a new video today, which is obviously what I'm doing, but I was gonna start a new DIY video. Tentatively, may still do it. I don't know. So this one's just gonna be a little different. You know, I'm just kinda gonna be like a vlog style, I guess. Just hang out with me today. I don't know. Someone somewhere may find this interesting. Hard to say. So yeah, let's just go over my, again, tentative plan for the day. So I need to put the Christmas tree and decorations away. The living room is like a war zone. Not really, it's, but it's, it's a mess. It's a mess, it's been this way since Christmas. And it is the 13th today, so of January. Important distinction. So I wanna clean the living room and kind of get that a little bit more organized. We may make some cookies today because it's cold. What else are we gonna do? I might start a puzzle. Again, <laughs> cold outside. And we may or may not start another DIY video. Here's the thing. I have to go to the workshop to do that. And it's, it's not a long walk, but it's cold and I'd have to go out there, start the heater, because I can't have the heater going during the video because it's so loud. So I'd have to start the heater, let it warm up, stop, go back out there, stop it, start the video, start it again so I stay warm. It just, it sounds like a lot. So we'll see how I, how ambitious I'm feeling later today. So I got a new lumber rack for Christmas and I need to hang that before I can start a new DIY video because all my lumber is currently on my mobile workbench. So it's just, well, hopefully I get some ambition, but looking outside, it looks so cold, so cold. So we're just gonna start with, I think, cleaning. Let's, we'll make a list because I love my to-do list. I uploaded my planning video this morning and this video was not on my plans, but that's okay. We're just kind of winging this whole thing anyway. Seems to be the theme of my videos. Plans change, we're winging it, and I don't know what I'm doing. Cool, cool, cool. Here's the disaster zone. Hi, Lucy. Christmas tree needs to come down. Ice fishing stuff can probably stay. All the toys, it just, it's a mess. this tripod and it is so cool. Look at that. Perfect.
so much better. So I've got the puzzle that I'm gonna start out. And that's pretty much the only thing left on the table for the most part. I've got some stuff over here, but that's all right. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and I think it's time to get dressed. I don't even wanna, it's, it's afternoon. So let's get dressed and get ready and then we'll start the puzzle. Why? I do thumbs up. I do like weird. Or in your hair dryer. You can tell I used it for crafting. I don't know for what, but sometimes you just feel more motivated when you shower, dress, make your bed, put on makeup, that kind of thing. Like, when you're ready, you just feel a little bit more ambitious. Although, I'm pretty satisfied with what we got done already today. So I'm gonna make myself a little snack, and then we're gonna start our puzzle. We only have two things left on our to-do list. Make cookies, which we're still gonna do. And then put dishes away, which was a new addition. I also think I have some clothes I need to push, put away. I checked laundry. I don't need to wash any clothes. I just need to put clothes away. So, we made some pretty good progress. Probably the coffee that I had this morning. <laughs> So this is a pack of puzzle. Essentially you can like do the puzzle on here and then roll it up. So like I'm doing this on our kitchen table, I can roll it up and come back to it later. It's pretty cool and it works pretty well if you have enough pieces done. I think we got it at Hobby Lobby, but if you like puzzles, it's pretty cool. And then I've got my sorting boxes. This was um, during Epi's for me for my birthday or mother, I think it was my birthday last year so not last year 2022 like it's january 24 oh my gosh that's crazy we'll talk more about 2024 and things to come because i have some thoughts that i think i want to share so i got like sorting kind of helpful i really don't know how big this is so Okay. So this is the puzzle that we're gonna do. It's actually a the shape like this. And it says it's poster size. Um <laughs> so I'm a little concerned about how big that is, but I don't know. I am Moose with unique shaped puzzle border. Oof. Um, oh, here we go. 41 inches by 31 inches finished poster size. That's huge. I don't know. Oh, uh, it'll be close. It'll be close to fitting on this mat. Oof. Well, 
We're just, we're gonna try it. We'll see how it goes. I don't know how far I'm gonna get today. It's a little different than, you know, your typical puzzle with a rectangle or square or whatever. Straight edges like that, so. We'll see. I think I got all the pieces, edge, edge pieces sorted. It took me 14 minutes. I don't, I don't know where I'm gonna go from here. I guess we're just gonna lay them out and uh, see if I can make any of them go together like a normal puzzle. <laughs> By far the most complicated puzzle I've probably ever done. I've got three pieces together. They go. So I don't know where to place them on the table. But I have like five together up here, and another four, and three over here. This is gonna take me a while. I've been working on it for 45 minutes now. That includes the sorting. That took me a good 15 or so. <laughs> I'm gonna work on it for a little bit longer and then I think I'm gonna take a break and we'll make our cookies. So I've got a lot of, like I said, pieces together. I think this is for sure right here. The very bottom. I think that's this right here. And then everything else, I still have no idea where it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna work on this for a little bit longer and then we'll go make our cookies. But I do wanna talk about 2024, like I said, so. I think resolutions are kind of silly. If you think it's important to have goals though, and I know they're probably the same thing, maybe I just don't like the word resolution. I don't know. So my 2024 goals, I want to be healthier. I'm not gonna attach like a workout every day or lose X amount of pounds or anything like that. I just wanna be healthier. So make healthier choices. Don't eat out as much. When I'm eating snacks, eat my carrots. I love carrots. Why don't I eat those for snacks? That kind of thing. Um, so just be healthier. That's, that's one of my goals. Um, when it comes to this whole video and channel and whatever, um, my goal, I think, is just to grow my channel this year and continue doing videos and having fun with it because I've really enjoyed it the last two months or so. So I'm going to keep doing that and just see where it goes. I don't really have any, like, I don't know, monetary goals or, like, I don't know, anything like that. Like, I just, I enjoy doing this and it's kind of fun and I don't know. Just different. 
I also, with that, I want to continue to get out of my comfort zone and do projects and try some projects and things that I, I've never done before. Um, up until, honestly, the iron-on video, everything was very much in my wheelhouse and comfort zone. Even the iron-on, like, I had done a little bit in the past. Not a lot. I'm not an expert. I'm sure there are things that I did wrong in that video. Um, you know, but I, I'd done it before, so it wasn't brand new the first time I was doing it. And I, I want to do some more stuff like that, like try some some new woodworking techniques or just something like that. Get out of my comfort zone and try things that I've never done before because I think that would be really interesting. Um, and if I don't, I don't try new things, what am I doing? Then you gotta do some new stuff. And then the other goal I have is to sell my stuff. I want to sell some of my, my crafts and things that I make because I, just, I want other people to enjoy them too. Um, so the hurdle I have with that, Etsy is great. I have an Etsy shop. I've posted things there. I've sold a couple. I have like two sales there. <laughs> um, so Etsy, Etsy could be great, but not for a lot of like my bigger projects. I don't want to have to worry about shipping. So that's where like my hang up with like the, the sleds. I didn't post those. I think I could easily have sold some around the holidays, even probably now in the winter, like what it's now and whatever. So it's like my mittens, shipping those probably aren't as hard, but I don't want to have to worry about shipping so much. So my hurdle is I don't really use Facebook, but I feel like if I don't want to have to worry about shipping, Facebook Marketplace is probably what I'm going to have to do, which means I'm going to need to create another page. We had a KJ Crafts one like oh forever ago when I actually used Facebook, and then I I deleted my Facebook, and now I have a Facebook kind of, but I don't I don't have any friends. I don't go on there. I just like to look at Marketplace stuff, um, and you have to have an account to look at Marketplace, and that drives me nuts. I wish I want a Marketplace not on Facebook. That's what I really want. One that people actually utilize, but Facebook Marketplace is what people utilize, so that's where we're at. So my hurdle with this is it's so easy for people to find people that you know or connections on Facebook. So if I do that, that means more people will see my videos that know me. Essentially, that's like what I'm kind of, that's my hurdle, which is fine. Obviously, I put it out there for you to see it's on the internet. I'm not hiding it. I'm just not advertising it with people that I know. Um, so, that's my hurdle. I will eventually do it this year. I just don't know when. Those are my goals. I'd be curious to know what you think of my goals. Like, are they good goals? Do I need to make something more aggressive or? Because those are all pretty attainable. Like I could do most of those, you know. Like I could start posting more things on Etsy today. I could make a Facebook page today. Those things. But I don't know, what other goals should I have? I, this would be a good good comment, like comment this. And I don't I hope like this style of video, because I kind of like it. I'd like to do more videos like this. So again, like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, follow me so you don't miss anything. It's free. All of those things are free. It's free to follow. It's free to give me a thumbs up and it's free to comment. So, what are you doing? I want to grow my channel. You just heard me say I want to grow my channel and keep doing this because it's fun. So, follow me. Help me grow my channel. Or keep watching. <laughs> Do both. Preferably both. So, anyway, those are some of my goals for 2024. Let's get back to the puzzle and then let's, let's do a little bit more puzzling before we go to those cookies.
Okay, we made good progress, but my neck is starting to hurt from looking down like this. I had to go over. So let's go make our cookies. Let me show you though where I'm at. I've gotten this part and some of this filled in. So I've still got a lot of like edge pieces together and no idea where they go. I'm also gonna need a bigger table. So that's cool. has got to be so long. <laughs> so our cookies are baking. And I think that's the last thing that we're going to do today. So before I forget, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this different style of video that I did today. And again, uh, go ahead, leave a comment, like, follow me for more videos, go check out our channel, see what else I have out there. And we'll see you next time.